I think the Guardian's uh, history of anti-Semitic cartoons is getting a little bit tiresome and slightly shocking that this is happening again and again and again. And so first you had the Martin Rosen cartoon, which I've um, included up here, at least a part of it. Um, this was drawn in May, uh, the middle of May, uh, when Richard Sharp was due to exit the BBC. And it includes all these anti-Semitic tropes, which are so clearly defined at the beginning of the 20th century. If you are a cartoonist, um, then I would presume you would have an interest in the history of cartoons from Gilray up to the present day. I certainly do. And I'm particularly interested in the sort of cartoons which dominate uh, the propaganda efforts of Nazi Germany and Russia. In fact, I used to, I used to do a course in Moscow um, which was loosely called um, a, 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 um, a, a course in animation and in, uh, and in cartoons, but was actually a, um, a documentary uh, of... Uh, Russian propaganda um, and, the, and the ways that Russia has u had used propaganda tropes particularly from the Russian Revolution onwards uh, and some of that of course was deeply anti-Semitic very clever but deeply anti-Semitic and uh, something which um, I was always very very quick to point out was wrong I think there are absolute judgments uh, you've heard me uh, proclaim absolute judgments Elsewhere, I, for example, I think the um, uh, BLM group in Chicago that uh, that says it stands with Hamas is beneath the pale. There are absolute judgments, um, and uh, I, I, there are nuances about how we support Palestine, but we condemn uh, a terrorist organisation that beheads babies. It's, it's, it's in the description. And Steve Bell ought to know better. He's produced a, a, um, a cartoon for The Guardian, which was filed at 11 o'clock yesterday. Uh, it shows Benjamin Netanyahu wearing boxing gloves, holding a scalpel over a map showing the Gaza Strip. And the map is uh, tattooed on what appears to be his own body uh, with the slogan residents of Gaza get out now uh, now it was produced just as the Israeli Air Force started bombarding the Gaza Strip on Sunday and uh, in response to the attack by the uh, Hamas terrorists um, now I I personally think that Israel um, needs to behave very carefully at the moment and uh, I, and I deplore the bombardment of civilian structures in the Gaza Strip. I utterly deplore it um, and condemn it without reservation. There are other ways of doing this um, and I can only hope that the uh, that the um, troops going into Gaza uh, a poised to go into Gaza shortly uh, will have more focus um, but uh, Steve Bell has published his cartoon on the internet so we can put it here and we can analyse it he was on a train to Liverpool he received a strangely cryptic message about pound of flesh well of course all you have to do is read your Shakespeare read your Merchant of Venice he says I'm sorry I don't understand I said and received this more mysterious reply, Jewish bloke, pound of flesh, anti-Semitic trope. Clearly, clearly it was self-evident anybody could see it. Um, and the cartoon may have been intended to be about the disastrous policy failure um, which has led to the disastrous uh, response, the hideous response. That that's true. I you know, um, Netanyahu's regime must be feeling very stupid at the moment. But a response to stupidity is not brutality. Um, 
and a response to terrorism is not brutality. We've seen where that has got us in the past with the invasion of Afghanistan in response to 9-11. It's done nothing. Um, and a, uh, a, a cartoon which is couched in anti-Semitic imagery does nothing to advance the debate. It simply distracts from the discussion. And uh, you know, the Guardian should be applauded for stopping the publication of this cartoon, but equally, Steve Bell should be castigated for publishing it on his own back on Twitter. Um, I'm putting it here because I, I, I can't discuss this without reference to what it to what it shows. Um, and uh, you know, it's a um, uh, the Guardian. The Guardian clearly has learnt through its experience with Martin Rosen, but Steve Bell has not. And Steve Bell is an incredibly respected and incredibly talented and incredibly um, gifted cartoonist, insightful cartoonist, who I know has an interest in the history of the medium. And I cannot understand how he could have been so crass. Um, what, what more can I say? Look at the cartoon, draw your own conclusions.